So I decided to get the cheapest computer I could get on Amazon. You guys might want to see this. All right, so as it turns out, it wasn't quite the cheapest computer on Amazon. It was the cheapest computer on Amazon that could perform uh, DirectX 12 tasks or run DirectX 12. There are a few other computers that are a little bit less expensive. I believe the cheapest one I saw was like $112, and then one for, one for $134, uh, and then this one was $150. Now, since then, it's actually dropped in price, but I bought it for $150, bucks, and it is a Dell Optiplex 3020 um, and this, in this case, an SFF, a small form factor. And this thing still has some of the plastic on it. I was uh, really, really surprised. And we're going to take a look at the unboxing first, then we'll get back to this. All right, so I already did uh, kind of cut it open because, uh, well, it's hard to do that when you're holding the camera. And I want to make sure that the keyboard was in there. And, of course, it is. So we've got the keyboard, which is a nice touch. The computer is in here which so far looks pretty good. Uh, no problems there. I believe this is gonna be the mouse. Yep, just a generic mouse. So we got a generic mouse and a generic keyboard. They're uh, actually, they look like they're from the same company. So that's pretty cool, that's matching. Uh, it looks pretty clean. There's a power cable and what is, Oh, Wi-Fi. Okay, so yeah, the original model of this did not have Wi-Fi. So now they've given us evidently a USB that has Wi-Fi. And so that in itself would be pretty cool. Um, but that does take up one of my USB slots. Well, I'm not really that worried because uh, I should still have some USB, but we'll take a look in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this as best I can with one hand, just kind of looking at it. But looking at this thing, now it did say that from arm's length, there won't be any noticeable blemishes or anything like that, but this is very, very clean looking. This is extremely good looking. They have gone back, obviously, and taken a little bit of care. There are no, obviously dent, no obvious dents and scratches or big marks or anything like that. Um, I, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with that so far. So let me, uh, let's try to take this panel off here. See what's inside. Oh, and I see something I like already. All right, well, the cooling, you can see the cooling. It's got a bigger fan on the CPU, which is really cool. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot other cooling. Maybe, yeah, right down in there, maybe. Um, but still, I mean, it's better than nothing, but would you look at that right there? That, my friends, is two sticks of RAM. So in this refurbished unit, which is supposed to have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, I believe it's a 230 watt power supply. It's got a 4570, i5 4570 uh, CPU that's behind that big cooler, which ought to do it very, very well as far as cooling. Well, that, that, that i5 shouldn't get that warm anyway. But uh, this looks really, really clean on the inside. Um, newer cables, I mean, can't say much for the cable management, but it's, look, it's tucked away. So it's not even, not even bad. So we'll, uh, let me plug this in, test it out a little bit, and then we'll kind of tear it down a little and, and maybe take a little bit more of a look inside. But right now, the, the main focus is just to go ahead and see what this will do. It's supposed to be running uh, stuff on DirectX 12. So we'll see if um, it will run anything like Borderlands 3 or Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And that's what I'm mainly concerned about. And then we'll see if we might uh, decide we want to upgrade some stuff. Okay, one of the things I almost forgot to mention is there is a little bit of literature that's also included, including a uh, just an introduction about the Amazon Renewed program and uh, evidently a manual from the company that did the refurb and sent it back out. So uh, this looks pretty detailed for including how to organize the hard drives looks pretty detailed for just uh, the $150 I paid for it. So I'm pretty impressed with that so far. Okay, so it came better than expected. Uh, very, very clean on the inside. Came with dual channel RAM on the inside, which I did not expect. Eight gig of memory, uh, two four gig RAM sticks, which is incredible. Everything is easy to get to. The power supply, it looks like it's a pretty decent power supply. This thing is just, I mean, it says you're not supposed to be able to see any scratches or blemishes from arm's length. I'm telling you, I'm close enough to it where 
this is just this looks like it almost came out of the box if it if it did not um if it had a little bit more plastic on it or something i would swear that it probably did just come out of the box it is beautiful uh they, they took a lot of care and going back and just making sure that this thing was up to snuff inside and out now i did run a couple of benchmarks and i did go ahead and, and test it out a little bit and it wasn't to pick fun at this thing because this is not a gaming computer by any means whatsoever this is a regular office type computer productivity computer and as you can see by the first couple of uh first couple of benchmarks i did just the synthetics we look like we're in pretty good shape here i, I was getting some pretty favorable numbers and it looked pretty good and i can't really complain uh, it was getting a little bit better than I expected, and then when I, the, as I ran through the synthetics, like uh, R20, the Cinebench R20, uh, I, was, I, I was pretty well impressed because it was actually higher than the Q6600 that I was testing in the old HP pre-built. Um, but that's about where it ends. <laughs> and it is because this thing is relying on Intel integrated graphics, and... Uh, it, it just doesn't have enough memory to keep up. So when I was trying to run things like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Dirt 5, it, it just it couldn't do it at all. Borderlands 3, uh, I, it was like eight or nine frames per second. Uh, same thing in Far Cry 5, and I believe, uh, I, I'll have to put it up here, I don't remember right off the hand what it was. I believe it was something like 17 frames per second or 20, 27 frames per second or something like that in uh, CSGO. So it was very, uh, it did not go very well but that's not where the story ends because not only did i go ahead and start doing some baseline tests on this to making sure and seeing what was going on inside this box and what to do with this box uh, and by the way it comes with a 500 gig hard drive that is an hdd comes with eight uh eight gig of ram and two four gig uh, four gig sticks it came with the keyboard it came with a mouse it came with a wi-fi adapter and um instead of getting the 4570 which i was supposed to get it's supposed to be an intel i5 4570 this came with a 4670 and i figured it'd come running at say 1333 it's running at 1600. Uh, now the bios isn't great either now dell's bios that's just for a, a pre-built like this just your standard bios no way to any any kind of overclocking or anything like that or any kind of adjustment but i went ahead and ran and I, I took care of it and I just wanted to see how it would do in those benchmarks we talked about. And like I said, it wasn't to pick fun at it. It was just to get a baseline because I did something else. Now this, as you can tell, is a very, very slim case. And trying to find uh, anything right now of value to put in this case, nearly impossible. And when you go and you look online and you're looking for a 1050 or a 1050 Ti or a 1650 Ti uh, low profile, y'all got to be out your mind. That's all I can say is, are you kidding me? I saw them anywhere from 390 to 800 bucks. Y'all, y'all have lost your damn mind. I, I mean, that a saying we had when I was growing up is absolutely true. There was just no way. And um, just for something that's low profile, you guys think you're going to get an extra, you know, 150 or 200 dollars? But there is an option, and no. It's not the dreaded meme graphics card of the 710. I did not get a GT 710 to put in here. I got a 730. <laughs> but there's something very important about this 730. Right down here, it's not one gig, it's not two gig, it's four. Four gig of DDR5 memory is on this 730, and that's what we're going to try next. So stick, you, you'll definitely want to stick around for this because we'll see what's going on with it. But if you're looking for just a computer that you can do email, some, some regular productivity, not anything really strenuous or heavy, but you're just, you need something to get you by for a little while, and maybe you can build or upgrade something not too far down the, down the road, or maybe even upgrade this a little bit, you can't beat it for 150 bucks. I was incredibly impressed with this. Um, very, very impressed with the way it arrived, how it's packed, how clean it is, everything that was included, and it was actually a better processor than what I was promised when I bought it. There are no complaints, uh, and I don't care if this thing craps out two weeks from now. The way it came to me and the way I got it and the way I was able to test it, beautiful. And I, you know, I can't wait to get this in it so we can do some tests. We're gonna see if this 730 with four gig can match up in any way with the 1650 that I had in the old HP, especially since the processor in here is better. 
but the graphics card is worse. It's that old Xbox versus PlayStation thing where you had one that had better processor, one that had better graphics. We're going to find out if this is a little bit more balanced set and does a little bit better than the other one did. And uh, so stay tuned. You might guys, you guys might want to see that. I, I know I do. So that's all I got this time. I just uh, I wanted to let you guys know I bought the cheapest PC on Amazon, and I'm going to see if I can do anything with it. But if you are looking for something that's uh, get you by for now. Don't be afraid of buying one of the refurbished from Amazon because uh, I, I, I don't know if all of them are going to come like this. I'm not an important enough reviewer for them to pay attention to who they're sending it to. So this is just by random chance, but I was really, really pleased. Um, so if you liked the video, go ahead and throw a like on it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you want to see what happens when I put this 730 in it. If you didn't like the video, it's okay to go ahead and hit the dislike, but kind of let me know why so I, I know what to change or what I'm, I'm working on or what to fix. And uh, don't forget to visit me on the other socials. Uh, I've got other stuff going on too, but uh, we're definitely going to check this out. So until later, folks, um, that really is all I got. So I'll see you later.